Come on, baby. Well, this is going to be a fun one, and it is a perfect example of uh, how potentially limited or limiting uh, learning how to do things online can be. We run a guitar building school and that is in person, come to us, learn how to build a guitar. And people often say to me, you do all of these things on video anyway, Ben, why should I come to your school? And the fact is that hands-on tools with somebody who knows those tools and knows those processes will save you time, effort, mistakes, and in this particular case, potentially embarrassment. Last week, I made myself a, a solid mother of pearl nut for the hand tool only build. Yes, it is behind my shoulder there. And I made the mistake of saying, hey, well, there's this hole where the uh, tang of the knife that this came off used to be. Why don't I fill that hole with something? My first thought was just a chunk of silver. Fun, cool, no worries. My second thought was, hmm, I could probably put a cubic zirconia in there or something, and uh, that would need to be mounted in a bit of silver. Not something I have ever done before. I have watched a lot of silversmithing videos, a lot of jewelry makers. I am really interested in the process. I have some of the tools required. And here, on camera, today, I am going to mount a gemstone in a custom little bit of silver and then install it in a nut. This is not something I've ever done before, but I've watched it a lot. Let's see how this goes. So here is the, uh, the beautiful thing that we're going to be uh, inlaying into. Uh, there is the tang hole. This was a, a knife handle and the knife came out here. I don't like the fact that it is off center. I considered making it bigger. But uh, in testing, uh, it shattered the test piece, and I cannot use grinders. This is the hand tool only build. I'm well known as a collector, a hoarder of things. And I mentioned cubic zirconias because, you know, I, I have a few. That is a ruby. That's a bloody ruby. Yeah, look at the cut on that. That may actually be worth something. Rubies, sapphires, uh, lots of amethyst, various bits and pieces, pearls, quartz, smoky quartz. What I'm thinking is that I take this ring apart. It, uh, it looks like gold. Uh, what it, however, is, is I think real garnets. So I'm going to rip a stone out of this. I'm going to make a custom tiny little uh, silver cup. Uh, into which to set the stone. It's a setting, isn't it? That's what it's called. I'm going to go with an easier setting where you put the stone in a cup and then fold the edges around it. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to do forever because side dot inlays, cubic zirconia side dot inlays, done properly could be epic. Hell, if you want me to retrofit diamonds, uh, down the edge of your uh, guitar neck, let me know. Uh, should most assuredly be more visible than you know, standard little bits of glow-in-the-dark plastic. Another little box. Okay, so this is all old, old jewellery, old rings and bits and pieces I've picked up over the uh, over my travels. I need a little bit of uh, a little bit of sheet, essentially. So I do have some bits and pieces. That's too big to, uh, to cut up for something like this. I think it would be more fun to melt down a, an old necklace or something. Why not? I should do. Well, I am just having fun, but I'm gonna be using this tiny little uh, creme brulee thing to anneal the silver. Uh, this guy's just ran out of fuel, so the footage I took of trying to start the melting process hasn't worked. And I think I've got enough fuel in this to melt this down. This isn't even the point of the damn video at this point. Uh, 
the point of this video at this point? <sighs> Fire, burny, melty, fun, let's do it. Oh yes. Oh, damn it. I got too complacent. Oh, too much gas, too, too much oxygen. What am I doing wrong, people? Let me know. Come on, baby. Look at that. And then that goes in borax solution uh, to just clean off some scale and stuff. I'm gonna clean it up and then uh, beat it into a thin sheet. Okay, so we've got a little ingot here. Uh, I am just gonna clean off the top of this first. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And I'm just gonna beat the devil out of them. I need a bigger hammer. That's the one. All right, there's a bit of a, there was a hole in there. I'm going to avoid that. I actually needed about a quarter of this much silver. And that feels like it's getting a bit work hardened. So I'm gonna uh, anneal that, bring it up to a uh, red hot temperature and soften the metal down again. And I can do that a little bit slower with this small torch, it's fine. And if you turn the lights off, when you think you're getting there, you're able to see better what's going on. See, I'm starting to get some color. And you're supposed to go, I think, cherry red for like 30 seconds or so. So here we go. Okay, so that's come out of the pickle. That is far more metal than I need. So I'm going to uh, chisel off a smaller section. And that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna work with. I am now gonna cut out a circle, which is gonna be the, uh, the cup. I keep wanting to say the word mount, which is wrong. Setting, the setting that we're making. Hand tools only, so this isn't gonna be Dremel mounted. Uh, after the uh, silver was annealed, it goes into a bit of a pickle uh, to clean itself off. And I'm just uh, using a wire brush thing to clean up the surface. Ha! Huh. Yeah, somehow I managed to uh, put a blade in upside down. Time for more coffee? First time I've done that in a long time. That is not quite circular, yet. All of that work to get this tiny, can't even pick it up, tiny five millimeter disc of 
925 silver. I don't have necessarily the proper tools. Hey, if you have these tools and fancy donating them to a kindly luthier near you, uh, get in touch. But, um, uh, oh, it feels cheeky. You don't need all of the tools. You don't need all of the machines. You don't need the full setup in order to do much of what I do here uh, in guitar building. I'm working from a home workshop. I've got a factory full of stuff, um, but it's not always necessary. Okay, so these are hollow punches. I'm not sure what they're even for. I think marking uh, leather, potentially. I have got a, a variety of sizes of them, and I am basically gonna use these as a little dapping block in order to turn my little piece of silver into a hemisphere. And another little tool, uh, I think this is again leather. This isn't really what it's supposed to be used for, but I'm going to use the ball end on this to, uh, to achieve that. And I don't want to get in the way. I then swap them out and go smaller and smaller tightening the radius, deepening the cavity that I've got here. And very quickly, I'm ending up with a little dome. I need to anneal again, back to the fire. There you go. This beautiful ball in tool is now too small, so I've got a, a punch that I've just uh, filed slightly round. And you can actually feel, uh, A, when you hit the bottom of the uh, uh, cavity of the, of that piece under there, whatever that's called, and uh, you can also feel quite noticeably how hard or soft the silver is. A little silver cup. Nice. Once more into the heat, dear friends, and uh, uh, well, let's rip apart a perfectly serviceable and rather beautiful ring, shall we? 